Hi guys, Patrice here from geek 2 scriptcom In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the geek 2 do script on your servers. We created a very fast and convenient install process. Within 5 minutes, you can actually have this script installed and working smoothly on your server. So let's get started. First things first, we need to extract the contents of this zip folder. Now when you download this from Code Canyon, it's going to have a different name. Just extract the contents of that zip folder. So now inside the folder, we have a documentation folder and we have a gig to dozip folder. So this is what we're going to install on our server. So now let's head over to the server. So I'm using HostGator, but the process is pretty much similar for other hosting providers. So the first thing we have to do is we need to create a MySQL database, create a MySQL user, and give assign all the data MySQL databases privileges to that MySQL user. Now for some other hosting providers, you can actually do that right from the PHP My Admin panel, but with HostGator, you, you, you can only do it through the HostGator control panel. So we click on MySQL databases, We enter a new database. So I've created a new database, Patrice underscore geek to do database. So now the next thing to do is to create a MySQL user. to do user set a password so we've successfully created a new user so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign all the new databases the new database we just created, we're going to assign all its privileges to this user. So the way we do that, we head over here, add user to database, and we search for the new user we just created, which is gig to do user, and we search for the new database we just created which is geek to do database, Patrice underscore geek to do database. Hit on add. So now we're gonna assign all the databases privileges to this user. So we've successfully created a new MySQL database. We've also created a new MySQL user and we've assigned all the databases privileges to this new MySQL user. So now the next thing to do is we need to head over to File Manager. File Manager is essentially the place that hosts all the files for all your websites. So right here, I actually already have that open here, so I'm just gonna head over here. So now we're gonna install the script right here in this domain install.geek2doscript.com. So right here, right here is empty. That's because I haven't uploaded any files yet. But once I'm done uploading files, we're gonna have the install script running here. So let's upload some files. So this is the folder we extracted at the beginning of the video. So we choose geek to -do .zip and we upload. So this is a large project. So depending on your internet speed, it might take a couple of minutes.
Once this is completed, we return, we head over back to the root of this domain and we extract the contents of this folder. Once this is done, we head over to that domain and we just refresh the page. So now we need to type in all the information we created earlier. So Patrice underscore database, need to do database, Patrice underscore, need to do user, password, paste, at one, two, three, in here, localhost. So right now the script is going to check if that information exists. If it exists, it's going to send us now to the next step, which is step two. So here we put in whatever title we want. Here the site URL, I'm just going to grab this one right here. All right, don't guys, don't forget the protocol, the HTTP, and also this extra slash here, just take it out. Yeah, just take the extra one out. So for site description, I'm just gonna copy that here. For site name, we can name this gig to do. And for purchase code. So now you get this from Code Canyon. In my documentation, I should I sh I give you steps on how to get your purchase code. But I'm just gonna use a test purchase code now. So the script comes with an HTML player for users who want to upload videos for their proposals, which works great, has good quality. But if you want extremely good quality, then you might have to start a subscription with JW player. So now I started a subscription just for demonstration. So if you start a subscription with JW player, I'm going to show you what you need to paste right here. So once you log into JW Player, you head over to your dashboard and right where it says publish, look for players. Give it a sec. So now here you you need to create a new player. Since I already have a player, I'll click on there. Alright, so this is what you need. This is what we need in order to, for the videos to have a better quality. So quickly copy that. Paste that here. Now the JW player comes with a subscription, it's about $30 a year, but if you decide not to use this, it's fine. The HTML player we built in, into the script is free and it also has some good quality. So admin name, I'm just gonna put my name. Email, put my email address. Password. Hit install. So it's going to check if the purchase stage. The last stage now is the stage where that shows you that your script has been successfully installed. Now, if you want us to help you tweak this project, change some stuff, add more features, you can click on here and it's going to send you to a portal where you can chat with us about the project. If you have questions about 
how the script works and all that, you can visit our help desk section, which is going to show you pointers on how to run this script. So now let's quickly head over to the admin panel. Now you log in with the information you entered in the install script section. And as you can see, this has successfully logged me in. So if we head over to the front side section, it takes us here. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can visit our support section or you can email, email us at info at geek2doscript.com. Thank you.